Assalamu alaikum. I am going to present today some tips for you for Sahur, the early morning uh, fasting commencement meal. I want to emphasize on some of the principles that I talked about in the earlier uh, presentation that when we eat to sustain ourselves for the whole day without really having anything to eat, it's important to have things that allow us slow release of energy, things that are not going to overwhelm us by the amount of fat that's present, and also we will need to eat things that are nutritious because we need nutrition during the day. So I want to give you inshallah four tips today for a healthy sahur, which is the early morning meal. Number one, begin any uh, meal, of course, with the name of Allah. And so that immediately brings barakah and blessing in your day, which is very powerful. And there's evidence, of course, that when we have the remembrance of Allah as the top reason for doing what we're doing, we're going to, inshallah, have a benefit even before we've eaten anything. Number two, the Prophet ﷺ gave a huge amount of positivity when it came to dates. He said, how excellent are dates in the believer's shahur. And this is the Sahih, sahih Hadith from uh, uh, Sunan of Dawood and Ibn Hibban. So dates are a useful component of our sahur because they give us high amounts of energy, they give us fiber, and they give us sweet, uh, which means sugar. Number three is to incorporate whole wheat into our uh, breakfast somehow. Whole wheat meaning not something that is released quickly, not something that's going to give us a high spike and then a big dip, but it's something that gives us a slow release of energy over several hours. So A, it has energy that is present in the body for many hours. B, the big advantage is that it's got fiber. So fiber helps us not only in a, 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 a smooth digestive process, but actually prevents things like constipation because that's sadly common in, in the month of Ramadan. A third thing that it does is it prevents the lethargy and tiredness that comes with eating foods that have a rapid discharge of sugar into the blood and then have a very big dip. So that kind of thing is avoided by eating things uh, which have uh, what are called low glycemic index uh, foods, uh, which simply means that sugar in the food is released slowly it prevents a high spike, which is what brings lethargy and tiredness. And also it actually allows the stomach to stay full for longer, allowing a state of fullness and satisfaction there for the life longer. Inshallah, until the next time, I will see you again for more tips. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.